So a number of years ago, and I don't remember when, because it's been so long now, that somebody may going through a hiring process. My guess it probably would have been when we were looking for an offensive coordinator because we had to look for so many of them. What is it that you're looking for? And you might remember that I said that after doing this about six to eight years as a head coach, I realized that if I hire somebody that's smart and they'll be loyal to the program, they'll figure out what to do and how to be successful. So when I came across Coach Knowles during the interview process, um, I didn't under, I didn't know that he that he was an Ivy League grad until he got here. I just knew his history and what he had done, and then I realized he was an Ivy League grad. And then when he came in and interviewed, there was a little bit of mad scientist side to him, you know, like uh, you know Dexter the Laboratory. You ever see that? Your kids watch that. Y'all ever watch that? That kind of that side to the uh, of him. And then when he when he got here. You would have to ask him, but in my perception was that that he thought that his concepts and scheme, based on what he's done for 30 years of coaching, would work anywhere he went. It didn't matter. And I think he realized in the first year and a half or two years that that, that wasn't going to work in this league when we had all these NFL quarterbacks. So he's transitioned into a different concept of what he feels like gives us the best chance to have success. But where he's made the most strides is he's a veteran coach that's still willing to change. And you don't see that a lot in our profession. Guys that have been doing this at our level for a long time, most of them don't want to change who they are. They want to try to change the people they're playing, which is not going to happen anymore. Coaches are too smart for that. So he's uh, highly intelligent and pretty low key to himself, goes in his office, closes his door, keys are hanging in the keyhole. And then he'll come out four or five hours later with a plan that he wants, that he thinks is good, gets with the guys, and they mix and match and get together. And then he calls his plays. Where he is um, a leg ahead or above other people is on game day as a play caller. He's fantastic. It's just a fact. And I assume that you could probably ask other people how it was on game day, but was that one of those things you had to? Well, I wish I would be. I would could say yes to that and make me look smarter. But I never did ask that question. But he is a he's very calm, and he's 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 a fast thinker. He thinks really fast, and he reacts to things. And so, uh, you know, and I say this every week. I mean, I, I don't know how much longer that our guys can keep playing like they are, not having a letdown and whatever, but. We, we can state the facts. It is what it is. The guy's highly intelligent. He has a demeanor in practice that's a little bit old school, and the players like it. They don't look against it. They buy into it. On game day, he's very, very calm, and he's a fantastic play caller. How rare is it? You know, he, on fourth and three, we, we it does Saturday, we dropped eight. I mean, you guys probably saw it, I mean, from up there. Who drops eight on fourth and three? And he dropped eight and confused the quarterback. Quarterback trampled and he tackled him. I mean, I wouldn't have. I'd have blitzed. But I'm just saying, that's why he went to – he's smarter than me. I was just wondering, how rare is it to find a coach like Coach Knowles who's smart but also willing to change? That well, that's, that's what I was saying. It's it's difficult when you get find guys my age have been doing something for 30-something years. They're not real um, – they're setting their ways, let's put it that way. So – his willingness to look in the mirror and what the philosophies are and then say, it's probably not going to work. That's where he's made his biggest stride. And then he's good at what he does. He's good at finding ways to, to do things. He gets caught. I mean, they all get caught at times. But overall, he's usually in the right spot. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.